What's up, YouTube? Now, it's your boy JB, and we're here today with a new show. This is Raisin, this is Power Book 3 Raising Canaan, which premiered yesterday on Stars. I know I'm a day late, but we're here. Um, so before we actually get into this review, which I actually did like the episode, I like the show so far, it was pretty good. So before we get into it, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and not subscribe to the channel, why are we still going on on a date? Why are we still doing this, you guys? Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell button, stop having me pay for the dinner at the end of it, and let's go ahead and get into it without further ado, shall we? All right, you guys, so Power Book 3, Raising Cam. New theme song, really good, I really liked it. It was much better than that damn Trey Songz version that we got in the last season of Power when 50 Cent had to eventually change it. Very good. I really like this. So, the episode, we open up in 1985 and we see a young Kanan. He's on the playground and he's getting his ass beat, right? Getting his ass beat up by two boys by the name of Tyus and Antoine. They, they jacked him of his money. So, we see Jukebox. Jukebox is being held back because she's trying to help him. And I mean, literally, those boys were beating the shit out of Kanan. So, <laughs> after the fight, Kanan got his his ass up and, and high-tailed it home. So, when he ran home, his mom and her boyfriend at the time, High Post, were there. He um, And High Post is the one he said that his mom got his mom into the game. But, High Post soon, you know, not long after, not long after this, High Post ended up, you know, High Post died. And, um, so his mom, whose name is, um, Rock, Rock, that's her name, because her name, uh, Raquel, I, I, it took me a, a, a long time in the episode to finally figure out what her name was, but Rock. So Rock ran into, you know, Kanan's room, she asked Kanan, like, what happened? So he tells her that, you know, Tyus and Antoine jumped in for his money. She's like, what did I tell you, Kanan, about, you know, showing off? He's like, I didn't do that. And she's like, where was Jukebox? He said they were holding her back. So she was like, okay, fuck that, Kanan. We going back down there and you getting that goddamn money back. So she grabbed a sock and she started putting some stuff in the sock. So they drive down to the um to the park, right? And Tyus and Antoine were still at the park. So she says, you know, go handle them or deal with me. And you can't run away from me. So Kanan with the sock, you know, he goes up to um Tyus and Antoine and Beats the hell out of them both with the sock. And that is where we ended with 1985. So we're going to move over to 1991. I think this is where the show is going to take place. I do wonder how many seasons of Raising Canaan we're going to get. Like, I wonder if it's going to lead up to us meeting Ghost, Tommy, and Tasha. And that might be... I know that they're doing a whole power universe. Because I know that it, before when I started watching the show, I think um, Power Book 2, Ghost... That returns in August, and I think, wait, does it return in August? I think it returns in August, so it might be eight, I think it might be eight episodes of this, and then we'll go into Power Book 2, go Season 2, and then in 2022, we'll get Force, which is Tommy, is that Tommy spinoff? I believe that's Tommy spinoff, Force. I'm not positive, but I'll look into it, but yeah, let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys, so now we move over to 1991. So we see Kanan and Rock, right? And they are, I guess, talking to like a guidance counselor or an admissions counselor, I don't know, right? <clears throat> so they're at the current high school that Kanan is going to, but at this point, Kanan has the potential to go to another school. And I was like, oh, so Kanan is very reminiscent of Tariq. Very smart, very intelligent, and he has the opportunity to go to like a, a choke. I'm like, okay, I see it. So Rock tells him that, you know, um, she wants, you know, for Kanan to go to the um, this school. He has to take an entrance test to get into the school, right? So she says she wants him to go there. But Kanan is like, I don't want to go there, Ma. Like, I want to sit here with my friends. Like, for me to go to that school, I would have to take this train, go here, go there, go pretty much go all around around the world, right? So then we later see Kanan, he goes to the choir room and we see someone singing and it is Jukebox that is singing. And if the actress who was sing plays the Jukebox, if that was her singing, great singing voice, great voice, <laughs> great singing voice. 
Um, so then we see later see Kanan at lunch, right? And there's a girl there that talks to him, and her name is Davina, who is portrayed by um. So so interesting. So Davina is I forget what the young lady's name is. I think her name is Lovey, but she's the young lady that played Zora on um. She played Zora on Greenleaf. So now she's on this show playing Davina, right? So she walks up to Kanan and she tells Kanan, like, you know, I saw your mom today. She was really, she's really pretty. Like, I see where you get your looks from. So we see that. So then we are also introduced to one of Kanan's friends. His name is Sean, a.k.a. He, he also goes by the name Fame. So they said Fame, he got his name Fame because he was in a talent show. And, and there we go. So, you know, um, Fame spits a few rhymes. He kept saying a word, nigga, a lot. I had an issue with that, but we're going to let it go. So then we also meet um, a character by the name of Buck 20, who is Davina's boyfriend. So then Jukebox says to Kana, like, how many times, what did she say? She says, how long have you been trying to get with her? He says, since the second grade. I'm like, God damn, y'all in high school? Nigga, let it go. So then she says, well, how many times has she, um, and, um, and how how long has she how, how long has she played you to the left? He said since the first grade. So I'm like, damn, she played you to the left in the first grade. But then you came back in the second grade, and she you still tried to get with her. She still paid you dust, and now y'all in high school, and you still trying to get with her. Persistence, but I wouldn't be me. Let's go. Let's keep it real, right there. Would not be me. So I'm gonna pause here, and we're gonna move forward. All right, you guys, so then we see Rock at the hospital. So Rock meets her younger brother by the name of Lulu, um, <clears throat> and she's at the hospital because someone by the name of Born Ready got hit, and, you know, they got hit by some, by a rival gang's um, guys. So we find, so Lulu is um, Rock's right-hand man, and Lulu tells um, Rock what happened, right? And then we meet Marvin, who is her older brother, you know, he's 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 kind of flaky, I guess you could say. But they also can they know that they can still rely on him despite him not being, you know, one hundred percent there. <clears throat> so Marvin at this point wants to push back, but Rock is like, I don't want to start a war with you know the rival gang, which we'll talk about. Um, his name is Neek, who is portrayed by Joy Badass. So we then see Kanan, we see Jukebox and Famous, right? So they look like they're at a pizza place playing um, video games. And then we do finally see Unique, like I said, portrayed by Joey Badass, right? And um, Kanan tells, actually, the thing is, I, I love the fact that throughout this episode that 50 Cent was narrating everything from the point of view of Kanan. So <clears throat> um, Kanan tells us that Unique is the biggest drug dealer on the South Side, right? And then he also notices that he put um, Buck on the corner, right? And I actually, my notes he says he notices he put someone named Buck on. But Buck is Buck Twenty. Buck Twenty. I was like, and I don't know why I didn't catch him when I was. I guess it's it's it's, inter it's different when you are watching the show and taking the notes. But now reading it, he put Buck on. So then we see Lulu and Rock, right? So they go looking for someone by the name of Hugo, right? And the club, it's, it's a club that he had, that Hugo has. And I kept looking at that club. I'm like, that club looks very familiar. I'm like, is that truth? Because that club really, I mean, when I was looking at the club, it looked like truth. So um, there's a white woman there. And they're talking about they're looking for Hugo. She says, well, Hugo is not here. And any business you got with Hugo, you come to me. So she looks at them. She says, oh, you're the drug dealer. She was like, um, so yeah, we're not going to be using your product here anymore. It's, you know, it's dirty. It's this and it's, it's that ghetto shit. And we're going to use my source. And Rock says, oh no, the hell you will not. And Rock told her, told her, I'm not the one. I'm like, I looking at Rock. I can tell you she's not the one. I like, I like the actress who's playing Rock. She's doing a, she's so far in the first episode. She's doing a good job. Actually, Rock right now, my favorite character. Love Rock. So then Rock goes to the bar and she meets this guy by the name of Sym Symphony Bosket, right? And, you know, she's like, are you new here? He's like, I just work here on Tuesdays and Thursdays because I'm in school the other nights. 
So, so where do you want school for? He says he's getting his master's in, um, shit, I didn't take it down. Urban development or something like that. Urban something. I think it's ur urban development, I believe. I have it later down in my notes and we'll talk about it then. Um, so then let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys. So it looks like the family, they have dinner every Wednesday night at this place called Lamont's Diner, right? So we see it's Kanan, it's Jukebox, it is Marvin, it's Lulu, and it's Rob. And they talk about, you know, the test that Kanan's going to be taking for to get into that school, right? And somebody, I, I, I don't know if it was Lulu or if it was Marvin, but one of them said, well, Jukebox, why come you didn't take it? She was like, I, I got it. She, they, they were, actually, they asked why she didn't get offered to take it. She says, I did, but my daddy, so I'm guessing Marvin is her dad. Marvin didn't want her to go because there's so many white people at that school, right? He talks her out of it. So then we see Famous. He comes in, and we're introduced to his sister, Jessica. Now, mind you, um, it's his sister, right? So Jessica, she was looking hard at um, Lulu, but... <laughs> Marvin flirted with her. I'm like, Marvin, I don't think you had a chance with her because I think she wants to get with Lulu. I think she wants Lulu. So then um, we know I noticed in this episode the fact that even Kana told us when you listen to Rock and Lulu talk, they talk in code. And I couldn't de I couldn't decipher what they were talking about for the longest time. So I don't know. I don't understand what the hell they were talking about. Um... So then we see um, Fame. So Fame, he's telling, oh, this is outside of the restaurant because they told Fame, they, like, Fame, sit down. You know we come here every week. Sit your ass down and have some food. So Fame outside is telling Kanan that he doesn't want Jessica to get caught up in the life, right? And I'm like, you've been trying to get down with us for so long. That might be your end to the family, right? So then some, you know, some of, some, um, some of Unique's guys come by and they start shooting. Now, they didn't shoot at them. They just really shot in the air. Kanan noticed who one of the people was, and it was Buck 20 who was doing a shooting. So then we see Rock, right? So after this, Rock goes into Kanan's room, to, and, you know, when they get home, she asks him, um, <clears throat> he said, she asks him, is he okay? He says, I know who shot it. She says, she tells him he don't know what he know. Basically telling him, you might know who shot at us, but... You don't know who shot it. Just keep it that way. So then he tells her, he says, well, I do. And that secret language that you and um, Uncle Lou talk, you think I don't know what it is, but I know what you're talking about. I'm like, oh, shit. So, and I'm looking at this. I'm like, this is one. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm t doing some p thinking in my brain, going back to the original power. And I'm like, okay, this makes a lot of sense to me. This makes sense to me why Canaan was so infatuated with Tariq. People always said that Tariq was Kanan's son. Never got that. But this makes sense. Kanan liked Tariq because Tariq just reminded him of a younger him and Tariq was able to do the things that Kanan did not get to do. And we'll talk about that later. Kanan actually didn't get to do the things that Tariq did by choice. But we'll talk about that later in the episode, right? <clears throat> so she tells him, you handle your job and I'll do mine. And your job is to go to that school downtown. Um, and, you know, Kanan just tells, you know, Rock that he's just worried that something will happen to her. Where will he go? She says, you'll go stay with your grandmother. That's why I rent her that house. I'm like, damn, Rock got it going on, huh? So then, <clears throat> let's see. So then we see a, a scene where Juke, Fame, and Kanan, they were talking, right? And, you know, uh, Juke asked Kanan, like, what did Rock say when they got home? He said he told her she would fix it. So then they tell Kanan, hey, you know, next year, like, you ain't going to have to deal with this shit because you're going to be at this school downtown, right? So they get on the bus, right? So I'm going to pause here and we're going to move forward. All right, you guys. So then we see Rock and Rock is talking to Nika, right, about coming after her family. And he says, you know, it, no one, it was not to hurt anybody. It was just really to get your attention so that way we could have this powwow that we're having now, right? <clears throat> so he tells her, um, you know, she talks about his brother. So his brother is in jail for the rest of his life. And he tells her, you know, because she's like, you know, when your brother's out, it wasn't like this. He's like, well, you know, my brother's up, up the creek for life. So I do what I want to do, how I want to do it. So, and then he's talking about, you know, you know, we had to deal with posts. 
And she was like, you know, whatever deal you have with Post, that's not my deal. Like, Post deals are not my deals. And I'm like, ooh, yes. Like, I love Rock. Rock, I fucks with Rock. I, I really do. I fucks with Rock. Like, so they make a deal with each other, right? She gives him certain, she gives him certain blocks. She gonna have this block. He gonna have that block. Da, 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 right? So then we had this scene with the white girl from the club, right? They got into it with Rock. She getting her back blown in by this black dude, and then she starts to smell something. She's like, what does that smell? And then she goes to the microwave, and her dog, <laughs> they put her motherfucking dog in the microwave. I cried. Like, that was funny to me. So then we see Rock once again, and she's talking to Kanan. She's Actually, she's taking Kanan to take his test to get into that school, right? So Kanan goes in there. He starts looking around, and you see... There were two, I noticed uh, him, he was, he was, there were two minorities in, in there taking the test. He was one, and I noticed a little Asian girl taking the test as well. But the rest of the people were white people. So I'm like, I don't think Kanan wants to do this. I think Kanan's going to do something to not get in. And lo and behold, that's exactly what he did. Kanan, I was looking at him like, oh my God, I have not saw a Scantron in years. <clears throat> So he takes his Scantron and he just starts bubbling in the letter B. I'm like, well, shit, you automatically failed. Like B, every answer is B. If, I mean, it would it, it would be interesting if if that were the case, but whatever. <clears throat> so we see Rock. Um, she's talking to I think it was Marvin, and he was t it was either Marvin or Lula. I can't remember which one it was, but they're they're back good with um you know with uh. D Hugo, Hugo, but he said he kept mentioning a dog. She's like a dog. I don't know shit about that. So then we see Kanan. So Kanan is at a pizza joint, right? And then one of his friends, his name is D Wiz. He tells him that he saw a buck on his mom's corner. This is where we go downhill with Kanan. This is where Kanan went kind of off the rails. So Kanan, you know, so um, D Wiz tells him, you know, my brother got some gats. So Kanan like, okay, let's go get the gas and let's go, you know, let's get let's get the strap and let's go take care of business. I'm like, ooh, shit, this ain't gonna be good. So then we see Juke, right? Juke, she is outside of this look like preppy, prep, prep, preppy school for you know, I'm not gonna say it, but she look like she's out, she look like outside of a preppy school, right? So some white girls come out, and then she walks up to them, and one of the girls knows her. The other girl's like, oh, you got, you're in class with my friend so-and-so. She's like, no, I'm not. They're like, well, where you go to school? And she says, Jamaica. They're like, you, you go to school on the island of Jamaica? And the girl, the other girl in the middle was like, Jamaica, Queens. I'm like, girl, how dumb, how, you know what? It's not dumb. It's the privilege, the white privilege. She ain't never had to go over there a day in her life, so she wouldn't know nothing about Jamaica, Queens, right? So, whatever. But I think that this is going to be... um. Juke's girlfriend, because you guys remember in the um, original Power, when Juke was played by Anika Noni Rose, she was a lesbian. It's going to be interesting to see how this relationship works out between Kanan and Juke, because at this point they are super close, but we all know that in the original Power he killed her. <laughs> I wonder how the original relationship is going to disintegrate. So the little white, so um, Juke and a little white girl go off, and she eventually, um, she saw so the little white girl invites Juke to her, oh, her debutante ball. Is that what it was? Because you said dead ball. It's a debutante ball. Why didn't I catch that? So I'm going to move, I'm going to pause here and move forward, you guys. Oh, you guys, I think I may have jumped the gun with the whole rock. Um, with the, So it was Marvin. So I did jump the gun just a little bit when I was talking about the fact that you know, they're, that they're back good with Hugo. And he mentioned a white woman with the dog. So it was Marvin, but I got ahead of myself, right? So they're back in, so the club is named Lanes, but like I said, that club looks like Truth. So I wonder if this is, I wonder if the club is Truth. And at some point, Hugo, it looked like Truth. I'm just gonna keep saying it, it looked like Truth. So they would see Kanan and his crew, right? And they pull up on Buck and he's pissed off you know, thinking that, you know, Buck is on his mom's corner and 
they were ready to set it off and that's exactly what they did they set it off buck and his people trying to take off running but somebody hit buck i don't know if it was Kanan or if it was um d Wiz, because they both just started firing and he got hit and he died like i said don't know who hit him because neither Kanan nor d Wiz really knew whose gun hit him um where we at so then we see Rock. So Rock is out on a date with Symphony, right? And, you know, she tells him, like, I'm in a specific line of business, specific line of work. He tells her, hey, if it's not an issue for you, it's not an issue for me. And um, he then tells her a little bit more about urban planning. So that's what he's in, sc in school for, urban planning. So then Lou comes in and he says to her, he just whispers to Rock, Canaan. And they, and she, you know, she's like, you know what, I gotta go. And she leaves the money on the table for dinner. He's like, I invited you to dinner. So then we see Rock. So Rock is at this point, she's at home. She's going off on Canaan. And she's telling Canaan, like, I made peace with Unique. He was like, but he was on your block, Ma. She was like, I gave him the block. And he was like, why? And even Marvin said the same thing, like, why? And she basically told Marvin, like, you sit there and mind your motherfucking business. Like, I'm the brains of this operation. You shut up and mind your business. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Again, fucks a rock. Rock is my girl. So then Rock, you know, we see Rock in, in Canaan. She goes to his room and she tells him, like, you know, um, yeah, I'm going to take you to, I'm going to take, actually, she didn't, he wasn't in his room. He came in there to try to talk to her. She said, Canaan, it's not the time. Take the trash out. And you're right. I'm going to take you to your, gran your grandmother's. Because he was like, you know, you talking about you don't want me a part of this, but I'm right here with you. You could take me. You could have took me to grandmother's anytime, but you have not So she says, I'm going to take you to your grandmother's. So he goes, when he goes outside to take the trash out, Unique's guys, they say, hey, Kanan. And they just start blasting. And um, so Kanan got down. He didn't get hit, right? So then the cops pull up. And then one cop in particular, his name is Malcolm Howard. So he pulled up and he's talking to Rock. And Rock is like, you know, it was the wrong house. It, you know, they, they, they hit the wrong house. And he tried to talk to Kane. She's like, my son, I got nothing to do with this. So then, uh, oh, we're at the end of the episode. I didn't realize that. So then we see Rock. So Rock, at one point, she went into Kanan's room. And, you know, she, t she told Kanan, like, you know, um. Actually, how, how, oh, you know, I think I missed something. No, 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 no. That's how the episode ended, but I didn't put that in the notes. That's right. So we see Rock. So Rock went to Unique, right? Rock went to give Unique some money for Buck's family. He was like, you know, you giving me some money for this. Like, I thought we made peace. Like, my people going to be sitting here asking me, like, what's up? So there's actually, at this point, a bounty out on Kanan and his boy's heads, right? So he says, you know, um, it's going to be a bounty on their head until we make a deal that I'm, I like. So he tells her that, you know, um, he wants all the corners at this point. I'm like, ooh, I was mad at Kane. I'm like, Kane, you really fucked things up for your mama, right? So then we, then the episode ended. We see um, Rock and we see Kanan. So she went back home. She got Kanan. You know, she took him for a drive. I was like, girl, you about to kick, try to kill your son? Because she kept looking. I'm like, ooh, I know you're not going to do what I think you're going to do. But no, she didn't. So at this point, she's, you know, sh you know, showing him how to shoot a gun and everything. And that's actually where the episode ended with them both shooting a gun. So that's the end of the first episode. Let me know what you guys thought about it. I really didn't enjoy the show. Um, I'm going to be here for it. Let me know, like the video. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button, you guys. So that you guys are notified when I drop anything else and share the video. I might have said that twice. Um, until the next time, you guys, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands. Wear a mask or not. Socially distance. Be blessed. Be fruitful. Be everything, you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.